The top neurosurgeon Charlie Teo is the ambassador for a new project which plans to deliver medical supplies such as blood and organs by drone. A trial is due to be conducted in rural New South Wales later this year. Dr Teo, you know, I'd rather have a full bottle in front of me than a full frontal lobotomy. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, but Rob, how do I know that you haven't had a full bottle already? (laughs) I'm so lucky to have Charlie Tiao here. Charlie, welcome to the program and thanks for taking the time. It's a pleasure, Camilla. Now, you are one of the most world-renowned brain surgeons. Yes. (laughs) Yes, you are. That's what I tell people. Well, that's what I'm telling people as well now. Um, Why brain surgery? Well, uh, it was fortuitous. Yes. uh, Serendipitous. Uh, Essentially, I didn't enjoy neurosurgery as a medical student. Uh And I used to try and uh, evade neurosurgical patients as a resident and intern. And then I started doing pediatric surgery. And uh, the neurosurgical registrar fell ill. And I was asked to take over his job for a while and fell in love with it when I was exposed to it. And wow. Yeah, so since then I've just continued to be very passionate about it. It's a huge job, isn't it? I mean, you're literally holding lives in your hands. Yes, it is. It's considered one of the hardest, if not the hardest, uh, of all the specialties because it is such an unforgiving specialty. The brain has no reparative um, mechanism. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, it's great. Incredible. So what's the longest operation you've ever done? Uh, 26 hours. Wow. Yeah, it was. Uh, I've only done one. 26 hours. I've done lots of 18 hours and 20 hours. And How do you keep going? Hours. Uh, well, I'm very fit, and you know, you do have to be very sort of fit and very focused. Yeah, and it's, it's almost like it an is, athlete, isn't it? Yeah. It is almost like an athlete, mm-hmm. and sometimes I get a little bit upset when I hear commentators on sports programs going, "Oh my God, that guy's an amazing athlete. He oper- he played tennis for six hours." And yeah. Hot, hot, okay. Wow. Are you kidding? Six hours playing tennis? I'd love to do that. You, know, you try holding your arms up like this with someone's life in your hands, like for 20 hours, and that, that I think, is a lot, a lot more challenging. But anyway, uh, yeah, no, you get used to it. You know. Does the modern lifestyle, like the mobile phones and the microwaves, do those have an impact? You know, the jury is still out. Yeah. You'd think it'd be in by now, but uh, again, <laughs> we, we need more funding. Yeah. The only large study was funded by industry, you know, mm. by the mobile phone companies. So. Mm. You've got yeah. to take that with a grain of salt. Uh, but even that study hinted at a relationship between high usage of mobile phones, right. more than half an hour a day, right. and uh, brain cancer. So even the study funded by industry that came out with the conclusion that there was no link, when they looked into these sort of subgroups, they found that there may be a link between high mobile usage and brain cancer. Wow. Mm.